A few days ago, I showed you how to add custom carrier logos to your non-jailbroken iPhone using a Mac app. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing on Windows. It's called Custom Carrier Logo. I'm gonna run it right now as an administrator here. So you can just download this from the description. All right, yes. And I'm running Windows 8 here. Okay, you'll see this screen here. Just click Let's Get Started. And then at the top, you'll see current carrier version. Now you need to go to your iPhone or your iPad, if it's a, a cellular iPad that is, and find your carrier, carrier version. You can find it under the settings general, and if you scroll down a little bit under the about section, you should see carrier. Here in my instance, it's Verizon 13.3. So all you do is put the number in, so I just type in 13.3, and then I select my device, which is an iPhone, and then I select my carrier, which is Verizon LTE US, so I'll just find it in this list. Just find your carrier here. Let's see, there we go, Verizon LTE. Now you wanna select your logo. Now, with this version, this uh, Windows version, custom carrier logo, you can actually put in a text logo, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I won't do that now, but if you wanna do that, you can do so. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually add a Zeppelin logo, and you can download this from the link in the description as well, or on iDownload blog. Um, this is actually, found within the Mac version, Carrier Editor, uh, they bundle some Zeppelin logos in there. Unfortunately, there are no Zeppelin logos bundled with custom Carrier logo, uh, but you can find the download for the Zeppelin logos in the description or on IDB. So here is the list of uh, Zeppelin logos. Of course, you can make your own logo if you wanna do that, but I'm just gonna show you here. I'm gonna use the Android logo. So the first thing you wanna put in is black, the black logo. So I selected that one, and now you wanna browse for the etched logo. So select that one, and there we go. Now once you select the logos, it doesn't actually appear in the little gray box to the right in my version, unfortunately, but once you do that, just click Create IPCC Carrier Bundle at the bottom, it'll create your carrier bundle, and those will be displayed on your desktop. You see here the original, so if you wanna restore back to the original, you can do that, and here is the custom logo right there. All right, so once you have that set up, you wanna go ahead and open up iTunes, and I'm just running an older version of iTunes, but it, it should work just fine. So I'm going to load it up here. Search for it. There we go. There's iTunes loading up. And make sure your device is connected to your computer. Then you want to hold this shift key on your keyboard, click on restore, and then pull this little menu down here and select the carrier configuration file, and then select your custom file, not the original file. If you want to restore back to the original version, you can select original, but select the custom file here, click on open. It'll update the carrier settings, and then you'll notice right there, bam, you see the little Android icon and the carrier logo, the custom carrier logo is there, a courtesy of custom carrier logo. Again, if you want to restore back to the original carrier logo, just select the original when you restore and then reboot your iPhone and that should take you back to normal. Let me know what you guys think about custom carrier logo in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.